I'm going to solve example six from textbook based on uh, three properties. These are co-interior angles, alternate interior angles, and exterior angles. So you should know this, what are uh, co-interior angles. So when two lines are drawn, the interior angles on the same side of the transversal, right? Same side of the transversal are supplementary. Then we have alternate interior angles like these two, provided these two lines are parallel. We can say this angle is equal to this angle and the other pair as well. This is equal to this. This is called alternate interior angles. And finally, exterior angle property. That means in a triangle, if you produce one of its sides, says I produce this side and this exterior angle will be equal to some of its two interior opposite angle. So let's see how this property is used in solving these questions. This question, as you can see in the figure, it is given that AB is parallel to CD. So this is uh, line AB, as you can see, this line AB is parallel to CD. Further, this CD is parallel to EF. That means we have this line parallel to this as well, right? These two are also parallel. By that, it means to say all three lines are parallel. You should know a line parallel to a given line are parallel to each other. So we have these three lines as parallel given. Now we have to find the measurement of X, Y, and Z. Now, first I'm going to consider these two lines. Let's say I'm talking about here. Yeah, first I'm taking this line and the other I'm taking this. Now look into these two lines here. This is acting as a transversal. So you can clearly see that these two are the co-interior angles, right? So we can write here, since, since CD is parallel to EF, therefore this angle Y plus 55 is equal to 180 degree, right? And as I said here, that uh, the reason here is co-interior angles, so you'll be writing the reason also that is from co-interior angles, interior angles, right? So that we can hear also co-interior angles. So if you transpose uh, 55 on the other side, it is 180 minus 55 degree. So we'll get Y here as 180 minus 55 is 125 degree. So we got, got the value of Y and we got this as 155 degree. Now, next is to get the value of uh, X. What you can see from the figure again, we have uh, this line AB is parallel, right? AB is given parallel to CD. Considering these two parallel lines, what you can see that this, this angle, say here, angle Y, and angle X are corresponding angle. Considering this to be the transversal, you can clearly see these are forming corresponding angle, right? These are corresponding angle. So we can directly write angle X is equal to angle Y is equal to 125 degree. And the reason is these are corresponding angle, right? These are corresponding angles. Now coming to the last part, that is the value of Z. For that, you can consider this triangle, say this one, you can consider this triangle. Look into this triangle here. We know the value of two of its interior angle. Sorry, we know the value of its exterior angle. That is, we know the value of this X. X being the exterior angle, it should be equal to the sum of its two interior opposite angle. That means this and this. So I can write here, that is angle X is equal to 90 plus Z. And that is from exterior angle property. Well, it can do alternately, but let's say if I do by this, I can replace X with its value, which we have calculated as 125 degree. And that is equal to 90 plus Z. So clearly on transposing, it will be 125 minus 90 degree because when we transpose it gets subtracted so this we got as 35 degree that is the value of z 
So these are the three angles we had to calculate. We had to calculate y. We got y from y as 125 degree, x also 125 degree, and z we got as 35 degree. 